have vertical drains. We have perfectly vertical drains all the way. This is where it should start tapering off. Yeah. Heads up, we're fine. <laughs> you can be in it, Gorby. You can come be in it. Potentially um, our most exciting log. This log is full of bear claw. There's bear claw everywhere in this. It is one of the best bear claw logs we've seen in a decade or two. Okay, so I'm going to give you the story behind log 410. So there was two logs that came from the same tree. I identified them both as 410 early on. Easy to do since they're both enormous. The butt of this log, 54 and a half inches across here. 52. So bear claw, if you don't know, is a growth defect that's visible in the wood. A finished guitar. It's highly sought after. It looks like a bear at some point clawed it up. There's usually three or four lines that are side by side and it looks like it's healed over and what you're left with is a scar from the bear. It's actually just a growth defect caused by I don't know, it's up for debate. There's a few things that could cause it. If we can identify it in a raw log, that means we can allocate it towards things like guitars. I spend a lot of time and energy sourcing these logs. It's no small amount of work. If you want to see some of that work, let me know in the comments. But just so you know, we saved it from being turned into two by fours or something. There's only one tree like this, and it would be a shame to turn it into six by sixes or two by fours. When I look at the grain, the best use for this tree is to be turned into guitars. I want to get as many guitars as I can out of this tree. You guys can all enjoy it. Maybe not all of you, but there'll be enough that, you know, one person doesn't buy us out. We're going to try and sell these off of our website. We're going for quantity, but also quality. Don't worry, we're going for quality, but we're also quantity is important. We're gonna get as many guitars out of this tree as we can because there's only one. And it'd be a shame to only get 100 guitars out of this tree. We're gonna aim for more like five, six, seven hundred. That would be our goal. First step to not wasting a bunch of this wood is meeting cuts. This is a massive tree. If I'm off by a degree or two, it basically means we lose an inch. Lucky for us, I'm pretty good at bucking trees. Just do a quick measurement here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so I need 42 inches or so in order to rip this in half with the sawmill, but it's 43 and a half inches. Maybe if I go the other way, 45 inches. I might have to quarter this with the chainsaw. <laughs> what do you think, Mike? I'm really impressed at how even it is. I have to say on the butt, I wasn't really expecting. It's very, very consistent and surprisingly fine for such a large log. I'm actually pretty excited to see, you know, even some of these ones that are gonna have color here. Be pretty cool to make a guitar out of that with with the color streaks i think it would look really nice yeah something really unique It's gonna fit. We're good. The maximum number of inches that we can fit on the sawmill is 42 and still cut it in half. So this is sitting at 41 and a half after I've trimmed it up a little bit. It's just gonna squeeze onto the mill, which is good because that means I don't have to rip it into quarters with the chainsaw, which I'm happy about. I just have to do the butt. Actually, I'm gonna use the half log that's there. That gives me something to stand on. It's really tall.
so much to explain here. So we've cut these quarter inch thick sheets, lay them out in their book match sets, so they're side by side, lay out the guitar tops and kind of position them based on where we think that we're gonna get the best quality of guitars. Then we go ahead and we label them, we give them a log number and then we give them a letter match for each side. That's a pretty exhausting part of the process. It's crazy how hard the alphabet becomes after like 18 combinations of letters. But this isn't how guitars are normally made. What many guitar factories have switched over to doing is splitting billets and then resawing those split billets on a vertical bandsaw. That allows someone to cope with runout and deal with the twisting that's happening in the tree. I know guitar makers don't like runout and I could spend an entire video going over what runout is and how it works and how to avoid it. What we've done here to avoid runout, and I know this might sound crazy, is we used a tree that doesn't twist. Okay, so we've been busy cutting up 410. Here's some stuff we've made out of 410. This is off the very butt section of the log. Maybe some base tops. We've been splitting. We've got some split billets coming off the heartwood. And then we've got a ton of guitars going on over here. Can you explain to everyone what you've done here, Mike? <laughs> so, this is a one piece guitar top. You know, 22 probably inches wide. This one and this one are actually a match set, but we're gonna leave them this width and they can be cut as a single piece spruce top for a guitar. That is a lot of width right there. So the amazing thing is some pieces, we only have a few pieces of bear claw. This is bear claw all the way across. Pretty amazing stuff. <laughs> And everything is kind of like drifting into the center. The other option is we can just like indent up the line here and no one will know. Where's our sound holes? About there? Yeah, Somewhere if the there. guitar is facing this way. I would make it. Yeah, the problem is we're coming to this pitch Yeah, the pitch too. Is, I don't know. You could. Do we have. Probably have nine inches there. You could cut a pitch pocket off, and, and you'd still, still get have that the effect. pattern here. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not a knot, right? Like we're not no. talking about a knot wave. This is unique. Yeah. No. Let's do it. Yeah. The idea is if you make a sound hole right there. So if we made one there, we should definitely make one here. That's what I'm thinking, right? 
that's your instrument. It's a little bit um, funny looking. <laughs> just, just playing around. It's one of those like old fashioned. We've got instance. a loot here. <laughs> it look pretty wild. It would be like the grain is following the yeah. um, the waste. Mm -hmm. Huh? What an effect, hey? Let's do it. No one's ever seen a guitar like that before. Let's do it. Has anyone? Four ten. I don't think anyone's ever done that. Probably go up top this way this time. Yeah. So we might end up with a bunch of these. A burl basically formed right here. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're calling dragon's claw. <laughs> coin to coin a thing. Prepare the patent. Patent pending. Patent, patent pending. pending, everybody. Yeah, it's pending. Back off. Don't even think about it. Is that it? It's all done. Done. There's no more of the log left to mill. Wow. We started 410 last week. It's a blur. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you guys how much product we're going to make out of it. It's just like incredible. The all of 410 will be used, except for the sawdust. Look at that sawdust right there. Some nice sawdust. <laughs> she literally had to stop halfway through 410 and clear sawdust. sawdust. So much sawdust.